Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Welcome back. So today is a requested video. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about some of my favorite foundations. Now I'm going to be talking about lower end foundations that can be found in the beauty supply store or the drugstore, or I'm going to be talking about mid range foundations like the Lancome mid range It's a mid range price as well as NARS and Becca. Now there are some foundations that cost 60 plus dollars, some even 90 plus dollars. That's super high end foundations. I'm not going to be talking about those today. I'm going to be talking about more accessible prices um, for foundation. So I'm going to start off with two of my favorite foundations and they're by Lancome. This is the 24 hour makeup. So the lighter color is 460 suede. And the darker color, which is my natural, more of my natural color is 470 suede C. So I'm going to swatch the lighter color for you first so that you can see what that looks like. Now all these foundations that I'm going to tell you about there are definitely medium to buildable heavy coverage. So you can build it up to a heavier uh, coverage if you need extra coverage. So I'm just going to show you, this is the lighter color. This is the 460 in the Lancome and as you can see that is a little bit lighter than you know my skin tone so it does give some coverage as you can see now I have some veins and I have freckles on my hand but you can see as I start to blend this out it does give a great coverage as you can see you can use a little or you can just build it up for a fuller coverage so this color is the 470 suede C. This is the color I use all the time in this foundation, in this liquid foundation. And um, this is absolutely beautiful finish. And Lancome, which I'm so proud of, has a wide range of colors for women of color. So you definitely can find your shade there. So I'm going to blend that out for you so that you can see what that looks like. And as you can see me blending it out, it sort of matching the color of my hand. Now guys, I have to tell you, my hands are a little bit darker than my face. And so this color may look a little light on my hands, but it is a perfect match on my face. So this one is a Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Uh, this color is 177. And this is the High Definition Foundation. I think this is their latest foundation in the HD brand, but anyway, this one was a great match for my skin tone as well. I like this a lot. Uh, it worked the best for me in, when I got a little bit of a tan, when I started to get a little bit browner. But as you can see on my hand, it is definitely a better match than it would be on my face. But this one was absolutely a lovely foundation. And again, like I said, all these foundations, you can have a light application or you can build it up to a medium or a full coverage. The next foundation is by CoverGirl. This is the clean. This is a normal, it says normal skin. The color is 165 Tawny. Uh, this is a very, very thin, thin foundation. You have to shake, well, first of all, you have to shake it up just to make sure it's blended nicely. As a matter of fact, I'm recommending uh, shaking up most of these foundations. This gives you very, very little coverage. I'm gonna show you uh, that. If you're a person who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup, that heavy look or you don't want to wear foundation where it looks visible on your skin this is basically like a little bit of I would say so thin that it'll give you a little bit of coverage not much um, as you can see I'm blending it on my hand and I don't know if you could tell it really isn't covering up the veins and stuff on my hand it's just it sort of smooths out your complexion that's all I can say that it does it's very thin it's very watery and if you needed a fuller coverage foundation, this probably isn't the one for you. But anyway, I had it in my stash for days where I, when I'm around the house, I'll just pull this out and I'll just put a little bit on. My next foundation is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This color is called Amber and the number is 11. Now, I review this, guys, and I'm going to tell you, this is a really inexpensive foundation. I think it was around nine dollars at the CVS drugstore uh, this was one of the better foundations that I have found within the last few years you this gives great coverage it'll give you a medium to a full coverage 
and now you just blend it in. You can use your makeup brush. You can use your beauty blenders. You can use your um, silicone sponges if you like. Um, I found this to be a wonderful foundation and it lasts throughout the day. It really did just last. This is a beautiful foundation. So my next foundation, guys, which I love is the uh, Black Opal. This is the stick foundation and I absolutely love this. This has been a repurchase of mine now for years. Uh, the color I'm swatching for you today is called Truly Topaz. And um, you know what? I recently ran out of concealer and this did really come through as an under eye concealer and maybe like a little bit of a highlighter under my eye. So it worked really well. This is creamy. It, formula. Uh, if you're oily, you may not want to use this in the summertime because this does help produce a little bit of extra oil on your face. So this is more of a fuller coverage foundation. This is really pretty. That color is the Truly Topaz. The next foundation that I liked is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I like this guys, even though when I first started using this, I I was undecided about it. It's a little liquidy. Uh, I, I found out that it wasn't really luminous on my complexion. I have oily skin and I thought I would look extra oily with this, but no, I didn't look extra oily with this. And a matter of fact, I didn't even look particularly luminous with it. But nevertheless, this was a good foundation that just provided medium coverage and it definitely is, is buildable. The color again is called Macau and it just, it's a nice color for my skin tone. My next foundation is Becca, the Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation. Guys, I love this. And I don't know why I haven't repurchased this. There's still some left in the container, but I absolutely love this foundation. I love everything about this foundation. I love the coverage. I love the color. The color is tobacco. It's not full coverage, but you can build it to a fuller coverage. Um, I absolutely love it. It does last on my skin for hours. It doesn't break down that easily with my oil. I have very oily skin and my oily skin breaks foundations down, but it, it really held up nice with this uh, foundation. So this one was one of the highlights of my foundation trials. My next foundation that I loved is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Uh, the color is called Sandalwood and the number is 6W1. Uh, this was one of the foundations that worked really well for me when my skin started to get very dark uh, last summer. And I, I absolutely love this one. This foundation is a liquid foundation. It does have great coverage. Another foundation that I was loving is the Born This Way absolute perfection foundation this is an oil-free foundation i love this a lot because it was oil-free and i got a longer lasting finish uh, with this one the color i'm using or used was called chestnut as you can see on my hand it gives great coverage you definitely can get that with this product this next foundation is called the Lacitan tattoo foundation it's by kat von d and it, it's a pump it's a what they call it a airless pump container i think that's what this is called the color i am using or the color i used was deep 71 let me just show you that and this is a super full coverage guys if you want a full coverage foundation hands down you don't want to you don't want to like play with lightness or building up this will give you a full coverage the first time you pump it out. I do recommend that you use a brush or you use a makeup sponge, but I did use a flat top Kabuki brush when I did use this foundation. It is super full coverage. It gives you a flawless, flawless finish. Next thing I wanna show you is the NYX Total Control Foundation. That color is number 17. This was a beautiful surprise this year. When I picked this up from the beauty supply store, I had the opportunity to test a few of the colors out because they had testers of the product. And this is the color that looked best on my skin tone. This color is Cappuccino, number 17. This foundation is like a serum. It's very thin and liquidy, but it is super pigmented, 
super pigmented. As you can see me moving that little drop around, look how much coverage that little drop gives. And as you can see, it is covering up my little freckles on my hand. This was just beautiful. Okay guys, my last foundation is a powder foundation by Lancome. It's called Dual Finish Foundation Powder. It does give some coverage. It's not a full coverage. So I do recommend just finishing off any foundation look with this. And um, yeah, I absolutely love it. it. Has a beautiful scent. So guys, that is it for my foundation talk through, my foundation review. If you need any help, with any of the products that I mentioned here, if I left something out, or if you want to know something, uh, you can definitely leave it in the comment section below. I'd be very, very happy to answer it as soon as I can. And I want to thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Be blessed, guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.